Uh, welcome to the channel. This is our 2001 Dodge Ram 3500s uh, Cummins 4x4 ambulance we've been building over the last year. I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible and we got a lot to go over. 64,000 original miles bought from a volunteer fire uh, house in uh, the mountains of Virginia. And uh, let's start with the inside because that's where everyone always wants to see first. Come on in. So we uh, put these steps in that come off of here. They just sit here so you can take them on and off whenever you want. I uh, custom fabricated this entrance so that we can stand while we're using the kitchen. Um, one of the drawers down here, we keep all of our uh, bathroom stuff in. I was showing you, uh, we got our toilet, cassette toilet under here and our 10 gallons of gray water under here. This is our uh, stove here, dual burner. Got all of your uh, dishware here or uh, silverware here. Um, that's our, our drinking water. This is our water for the, um, for the sink and we can hook up a hose to that and shower off here or shower off through this door outside if we want. That's all under here where more storage is. Um, LED strip underneath of here. And then uh, this is where you turn on the outside uh, radio also. More dishware up here. Yeah, all made the cabinets and had the, the cabinet faces all custom made. Um, if you come over here, this is where our fridge is. 12 volt DC fridge, it's an Isoco dual zone. So it's got fridge and freezer capabilities or two fridge capabilities. Cool. It has a slide out, and that can work on 110 or 12 volt, depending on if you wanted to take it out, take it in your house for any reason. We got um, a pass-through window here for like, you know, if you had a dog or something like that. A little uh, place to put your makeup on there. This is a 110 outlet. More storage here. If you want to look in there, this one's deep, pretty deep, and these two are pretty big also. Um, this is our solar controller here, diesel heater controller here. This is our shunt for our batteries, just to see where our battery is at. Two overhead max air fans. Those are the more expensive max air fans. Uh, the radio here, or the uh, Bluetooth player can hook up to these four speakers up top, so you kind of have surround sound. And then all the lights in here are on like different zones, so everything's on a different zone. So you can have it be real chill in here, real whatever you want to do. Um, okay. Um, you can also hook the TV up to these four speakers, so you can watch Netflix and stuff on the overhead speakers. Uh, 32 inch uh, DC TV, so not taking in the AC to run that. We have a 110 volt heater here, just in case the diesel heater for any reason has any issues. We haven't had any issues, but there are some. Very nice seat here. And if you tilt this up, you got more storage under here. And then uh, this is our AC system that runs off the generator. This is brand new. The other AC that was in here was just not very old and uh, not efficient, so we put this in. That other AC used to be here. I tore it out and made it a storage area. We got covers for all the windows so you can be very private in here. These two speakers here hook up to the radio in the front of the truck. So if you were back here hanging out while uh, somebody was driving, you would hear what they were listening to there. And then uh, this is another pass through where we keep all of our blankets and stuff like that. We ended up putting in this uh, fall fix fake hardwood floor and um, this is our bed we created um, you can have it in like multiple zones so right now we have it on this chain here and it can be in like a more chill relaxed location 
for it. Let me take this chain off. And uh, when you're riding, it clicks back and stays back. Or if you push it forward just like this, let me just, there we go. You can uh, see that this goes into the fishing pole area. So if you wanted to store extra stuff down there, you can get to it while you were in the cab. And if you pull it all the way out until it clicks, you have your bed. You got your bed now. And this is a memory foam mattress. This is a full or queen size, I think it's full size. And then uh, it just pulls back up and it clicks back into place. These are like heavy duty drawer casters we put them on. And you can sleep in it just like this. I'm 200 pounds and have no problem sleeping on it. But just in case we put these on here, there's one in the back too. And uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, underneath the here, I'll show you, and I have another video shot for that, but we have LED, um, like, light up lights that are pretty fun in here. They're on a remote. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. This thing's been nothing but good to us. The only reason we're selling is we bought a homestead on 11 acres, and we want to put some money towards things like tractors and stuff like that. But this rig's been nothing but good to us, so... So coming in here we have our uh, propane with a splitter on it. One goes to the stove and one goes to our hot water heater. This is 10 gallons of gray water. You got a um, drain for the gray water here. Um, this is your switch for your uh, uh, air compressor and there's a tank underneath that holds uh, compressed air so you can fill up your tires very easily. Bottle opener, we got uh, LED spotlights and we got our um, Bluetooth speakers with uh, a light on it. In here we got a um, Westinghouse iGen 4500. This is a, a brand new pretty much generator we have in here. It's got a remote, which is nice. You can turn it on and off and like pretty much inside the cab. And also I put a, um, I put a pump here that goes to 10 gallons underneath tank. It's right there, the tank's right there. So you can pump and refill the, your dirt bikes or refill the generator whenever you want to. So that's pretty cool. Back on there. Uh, I added this here. This holds all of our extra like chemicals and stuff like that and our bubble, bubble rope and it's just stuff that either smells or I didn't want in the cab. This is the um, fishing pole slash snowboard area that I just showed you guys inside. This is where you fill up your 10 gallons of gasoline if you need it for all your stuff. This is that tank I was talking about full-size 35 inch spare with swing out tire carrier that I built uh, backup camera another LED spotlight there that I'll show you guys later in the video um, this is where we have our AC that's the outside of the AC and then we have a heater in there too in here we have our storage more storage we got uh, blankets we have uh, diesel heater, tools, extra gallon of uh, diesel there, air hose, um, extension cord, LED spotlight in there too. Here is our 200 amp hour uh, paralleled uh, energy batteries with our fuse and our main line shut off here. We got a bigger fuse back there diesel tank, 35 inch tires. The rears have different wheels on them. The fronts are still the dually wheels. Here's a breaker for your air compressor, a breaker for your battery charger. We got a battery isolator. We got a trickle charger. These are all your um, breakers for your 110 circuits for the generator and extra storage in here. Here is your 30 gallons of fresh water with your tank. Um, this is your uh, water pump. Here we have our uh, hot water heater. This thing's pretty killer. 
And then we have a triple stage filter for the water. So the water out here is obviously better than it is in my house. Axe and shovel. Under here we have more storage for chairs and jack stands and jack. And this is where you drain the 30 gallons here. I have another drain here for the 30 gallons. Um, interior super clean. The chair seats look like they're brand new. Um, this is for the pack brake here. Um, this is for the pack brake here. I got um, the dash has been in good shape for a second gen Cummins 4x4 shifter. Uh, this little switch down here works the uh, rear view camera. So all in all, the interior of this truck is crazy clean. Like I said, I don't think it was sitting and idling very much because it was a volunteer fire company. Um, I got this rack here for all the wood and stuff like that. Um, we have a 30 inch light bar, I think that's 30 inch, and then the two spotlights here. Um, we can keep talking about the outside here a little bit. There's 300 uh, watts of solar on the roof. You can just kind of see the solar panels there. Under the hood, we have two brand new batteries or fairly new batteries. Mission Moto Trans Cooler, uh, Adrenaline iQuad Tuner. All of the uh, intercooler boots are brand new. All the fluids have been changed in this rig. 75 horsepower injectors. Um, head head's been studded. We have a brand new Borg Warner K27 Turbo. This is the uh, other air compressor if you needed it for the pack brake. Um, new belt. So, uh, the exhaust manifold's been studded. Um, oh, the AC, all the AC stuff's brand new. It wasn't working that good, so I put a new condenser in. Pretty killer. And then you also can use the pack brake air compressor here. So you have two air compressors on the rig. I don't know, just in case. Um, brush guard. You got a uh, um, Fox 2.5s in the front and rear. They're custom tuned by AccuTune with Synergy suspension uh, shocks. Um, Freedom off-road control arms, upper and lower. Uh, these AccuTune shocks were custom built for this application, so they're uh, weighted out for the weight. We got uh, suspension. What are those? Suspension Max uh, end, end links for the sway bars on both sides. All these parts have like very, 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 probably 5,000 miles on them. If you come under here, we have Fox 2.0 steering stabilizers right here. Fox 2.0 steering stabilizer. Synergy steering links. Uh, BD diesel track bar. Redhead um, steering box and uh, it's the steering stabilizer box here. BD diesel transmission. Top of the most expensive transmission I could get for BD diesel. It's like $8,000 just for the transmission with billet torque converter. Um, if you come under here, uh, I routed the blow-by tank for back here. And then we have a four inch um, exhaust with muffler. Right here, we had a four inch exhaust with muffler. Um, this is that tank I was talking about for the uh, air compressor. All the U joints in the drive shaft are brand new. Doesn't matter. Um, so if you come back here, oh, one more thing I wanted to say is all of the. Uh, all the brakes are power stop brakes, so the fronts are brand new, rears are brand new brakes with uh, power stop, um, uh, power stop uh, and, um, brake pads and uh, discs. Brand new, um, brand new uh, leaf packs on both sides, custom for the application. I put Firestone Ride Right uh, airbags in with uh, Daystar Cup, so it articulates. Um, if you keep coming around the back here one more time. <laughs> I've got a MagTech differential cover back there. That's a Hellwig sway bar 
I made custom sway bar end links for this thing because it's got about a four inch lift on it all over. Those are the Fox 2.5s again. Um, with the custom tune by Accutune. Um, you can see where the exhaust dumps back here. And then this is the exhaust for the um, diesel heater. Right, keep coming back over this way. Uh, this is the fast fuel system. So it's our uh, fuel pump here with water separator and fuel filter. This is our beans diesel um, sump there. So that makes sure you get every last bit of fuel out of the tank. The diesel heater is plumbed right into the top of the tank. So you will never hopefully run out of diesel um, for your heater. Um, that's pretty much the bulk of it. Let me just show you how easily it starts up. This is a completely cold start. It's summertime, but... <sighs> show them the mileage, babe. Right at 64,000 miles. Um... If you use this little switch here, it'll turn on all the lights on the outside, and I'll show you what those look like right now. So, go outside. I also have, um, oh, let me turn that light on. Huh? Oh, there we go. Light bars on, ditch lights are on. Oh, it, nothing, nothing's on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now all the lights are on. Ditch lights are on, front lights are on, light bars on. I have the light, a light bar on each corner of the ambulance. Um, I also have LED lights in the headlights that are very bright, but this light turns on also.